welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video i've been doing a few little videos like this lately going off subject slightly but still involved and the reaction to the videos the comments they all seem to be absolutely fantastic so today we're going to do another little video that's a little bit different to normal we're not in the yard working on a car but we are out getting some supplies for it so i thought i'd bring you along for the drive and actually do a bit of a video on what it is that we're doing we're heading off to Kemp Paints in Maidstone to grab some paint for the old Land Rover and also some paint for the LSE Range Rover so I'll stop talking about it we'll get in there get involved and see the whole procedure of how they make the paint up mix it and put it into the cans etc we've come down to Kent Car Panels and Styling this is the paint shop where they make up the aerosol cans with the paint that we need and we have come down here to get some touch up paint for the old Land Rover Series 3 so let's get in there and we'll try and watch the whole process of how they make that paint up mix it up and put it into a can so guys we've now come into the uh, consumable store and the guy said you know make yourself at home have a walk round and see exactly what it is we do do and he seems to have absolutely everything here you'd need there's all the masking uh, paper you've got the masking bags there over here he's got the masking uh, tape gloves the filler just everything that you would need to repair your car or in the motor trade he's pretty much got it here he has got all of the different sandpapers here you've got all of the da discs down here velcro back sticky back just every one that they do every grade he's got them all the way down here production paper he's, again he's got every single grade of that production paper all the different grades of the wet and dry everything is down here everything under one roof and it is a very small family run business but it just, it's blown me away he's got absolutely everything here that you're going to need he has got a little shop window that we're going to move around to in a minute but i just wanted to show you the extent of in here all the mutton cloths electric DAs, he's got air DAs, overalls, scotch pads, black, red, again boxes of the um, foam back sanding pads, it just seems to have everything that you'd need and a real real nice guy, I'm going to put all of his details and his link and telephone number in the description, I did just come round here and I've, I basically had a little look down the back there he's got oils and things like that uh heavy duty oil stabilizer he's got um new spray guns there and other little bit like air da's and other little bits and pieces and the main reason why we actually come here today he does make up these aerosols why you're here why you wait in any color and i just said to him if one of my subscribers wants to give you a call that they're all over the country they're all over the world would you send these to him? And he said, absolutely, yes. He, you know, he would send these out to you. So you could send him your paint code. He could make this up for you and send it out in the post to you. So really, really, really nice place. That's it, rear ear, guys. It's not going to look fantastic because the window's quite steamed up. And obviously, we are outside. You're not going to see it from the back. But he's got all the polishes, all the different grades, all the different little tools and bits and pieces that you'd need all really nicely displayed i just thought i'd show this a little bit it is a little bit of an insight the guy said this business has been running since 19 1940 what did he say chris Sorry. 1949 he's not been here that long he's worked here for many years and it's just gone down the chain and he has been here for a long long time but really really nice and very personal touch when you come in you get really welcomed and the guy couldn't be more helpful. Right, so we've just come into the paint scheme room. We've got Sam, he's worked here since he left school and he's on it making us this um, aerosol can. He's got the uh, paint chips out and we've gone through it and the car's actually, that old Land Rover Series 3 is Tuscan blue. So he's put that into his system and it's come up with everything that he needs to put into that cup. Sam, would you mind explaining what, what it is that you've got to put in that cup, what the screen's telling you? So basically what we have to do here is we 
get all put the uh, colour code and everything into the system. It comes up and obviously it's a British Leyland old Series 3 Land Rover colour. The colour code is JCB, it's Tuscan Blue. So basically from now what I do is I put the cup on here. Yeah. I activate into my system, so obviously I'm gonna press start now. Yeah. It's gonna start, it's gonna zero off the scales, and now we're ready to go. So the first one that we have to put in is because we've asked the customers asked for it in 2K, we have to put obviously in the 2K agent, obviously to make the colour. Yeah. So now I'll put the 2K agent into it. Yeah. And then we have to go from the next step. So we put the 2K agent in first. But with this, with the system, it's always you have to get it on zero all the time. Otherwise, it can affect the colour. So see now, obviously it's on zero. I've done that a few times, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, we have to go to the obviously where the tinters are and pick the tinters up. We'll see the first colours in it is white, which sometimes when I explain to people that there's whites, yellows, reds blacks that go into blue people are like they never knew that so no it's quite no. interesting i do get that actually yeah there's so many different colors that goes into a one color for a, a car and people are like no my car hasn't got any green in it correct and they just don't realize that that makes up part of the paint correct people just some people just think god you see how he gets that spot on absolutely incredible <laughs> this certainly wouldn't be the job for me no, it's very now what we're putting in sand black. This is black going into the blue. I hope you're enjoying this video, guys. Stick your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of it. We come over here to get it, and I thought, what a fantastic opportunity to take you guys on another journey and show you another part of the process. Like, again, it must always be on zero every time. As I said, it will affect the colour. Is there, is there a lot to, a lot more to put in it? How many different We've colours? We've got about four colours in the in the whole process. This is the blue, so obviously this gives it the blue tint to it. I don't um, I don't think if the shade was absolutely perfect, it's going to quite match our. 1974 um, paint job anyway, Sam, so it's completely original and never been painted. Correct. So we've got one more to put in there now. Yeah, which is a yellow colour. Yellow? Yellow. Yellow in that blue. Yeah. It's incredible, isn't it? People just wouldn't believe it. I'm going to pause there now, guys. He's got it all in there, and I'll let him mix it up, and we'll come back when he's going to the process of squeezing that into an aerosol can. Right, so he has mixed all that paint up now, and we're going to go straight back to Sam, and he's going to tell us what the process is, why he's doing it. So basically, we get our can, which we're going to use. This is just a blank. This only contains thinners and hardener. Yeah. So obviously now we're going to take the lid off, take the nozzle off the top, Put the cartridge that the paint needs to go on on top. It's obviously got a hole. We put it in there like that. So it's all set up, ready for go. All that contains at the minute is thinners and hardener. Right. Now we're going to pour the paint into the into the cartridge. I'll come round there and get yeah. that bit better. Sorry, mate. That's all right. So all right, that's all in. So now we're going to put it into our monofill aerosol machine, which we open up. What a bit of kit. We have to alter this sometimes, because sometimes two pack aerosols are bigger than the single pack ones. Right. We have all that set in place. We shut the door, make sure it's all carefully shut. We press the button. So that is process is pressurizing the paint into the tin. And it's got a bit of a countdown timer there. Correct. So obviously once it's all done, it says, yep, it's all finished and it will stop. It's all done by obviously on our big compressor. We have a couple of hoses leading into the machine to obviously and allow for the air runs, to pressure. We've actually got a couple of those machines. Correct, yeah. To allow really for the, busy. Yeah, to allow the pressure obviously to pressurise it into it. 
I normally give it two pumps. Right. Because then I know that it's fully fully done. Everything's in there. Yep, correct. The finish is phenomenal as well with these cans. It's yeah. unbelievable, yeah. Well, we, we will be showing that in a later video. Yeah, that's... I've got one left to do on the car, so no. we'll be showing how good the paint is. Yeah. So see now we've got about five seconds left, as the timer says. So that's now already finished. He was absolutely spot on. You said it'd be a couple of minutes, and that's exactly how Correct. long it took. So basically Sam, now that... tell us the impressive bit about this can and the paint that you've just put in it with the thing at the bottom. Well, now, so obviously this can's all in it. Two pack, as obviously normal paint sprayers will understand. If it's been hard, if the hardener's been added to it and you leave it in a spray gun, you can't use it after about two, three days because obviously it will go rock hard and obviously it will ruin all your spray guns. With this piece of kit, it enables you to go home, take it away, leave it for five, six months, say, and then go out to the garage. And as long as you haven't activated it, you'll be able to use it. The activation activation is used by this. So you have to take the end of the lid up, cap off. We have a little clip. We put a little ring, put the clip through the little ring port at the end. If we pull it out and we shake it and activated it, the ball is released. So the hardener will then go into the can. Therefore we have now, we'll now have an active two pack can, which you can probably use up until about two to three weeks if you use it in a cool, cool and say chilled place. A nice environment. Correct, yes. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant, guys. That is, so you don't, we're not activating this can until we're ready to use it. And the fact that you, you know, that's not mixed in with the paint. I know I've shown a cheaper version of this before that was already mixed up. It had to be used within a couple of weeks and that was the end of it. But this, we don't activate until we're gonna use it. Absolutely incredible. And just to, to get the color, we'll just do a little sample. And there we are. So that won't go off, will it? Because no. it's got no hardener in Correct. it at the moment. And also with these, we can have an adjusted fan. So obviously we can make the fan a lot bigger. That's brilliant, guys. They come with an adjustable fan as well. All out of a spray can. Correct. Guys, their telephone number is going to be in the description. You can call these guys up, order this off of them, and they will ship it out to you, or you can come here and collect it. But this is exactly what we wanted. Just about to walk out, and we've seen this wing, the back wing, off of a glider. And I just said to Sam, what, what's this here for? And he said, they're trying to match the paint. Sam, show us your stuff. So basically what we have here now is we have obviously, as you just said, the wing off a glider. The customer's come in for a, for a two pack aerosol color match on it. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is the first process is we're gonna get a bit of compound and we're gonna polish it up so obviously we get the exact color reading for the, for the, for the wing. Oh, so it just takes all the grime off of it. Correct. Just like normal. Just yeah. so we can get a clean, accurate reading on it. And then you've got your tool. To put the spectrometer on it. So we've seen now that's... that's it. I called it a tool, Sam, because I didn't <laughs> know what it was called. No problem. So now here we and have a there, colour spectrometer. Correct. Obviously, we're going to turn it on. We're going to have to calibrate it because obviously we calibrate it every time we use it. Well, it goes quite quickly. Correct. So now that's all calibration complete. Yeah. We have to open the reference slider to get it set. Now we're going to put it on the bit that we've just compounded up. And hopefully it will come up and it's given me a reading of a colour. So now I'm going to go to my chips and I'm going to go and find the colour and see what it looks like up against the panel. Sometimes it may look good, sometimes it will need a little tin, but that's something we're here to do. Lovely, thanks Sam. Thanks for your time today, I really appreciate it. No problem. And, uh, we'll see you soon in the future. Definitely, thank, thank you, very, you much. very much. Cheers. Guys, that was absolutely brilliant. So we initially come over with the wing to get a paint match on the, uh, the old LSE, and obviously get this, this can of paint, just to do some little bits on that Land Rover, because we are coming to, this video is going to go out before that one, but we are going to be doing an end video on that. And do you know what, honestly, that was, they made us feel so welcome and comfortable. The guy said, look, if you're messing around with cars, sometimes I mix up these cans 
and if they're slightly wrong, I can't add a tint to them, so I have to redo it again. So guys, look, they give us two boxes, all different color paints. He said, you're in the trade, one day you're going to use them paints, and the chap just literally give them to us. I can't recommend them enough. He's one of the nicest people, that man and his son, where I've ever come to get parts for a car or these little bits, and I will always use him now, forever. I'm gonna, he said, they're quite old school. They do prefer a good old fashioned phone call to going online. They have got a website, but I'm gonna stick their phone number in the description. If you want any of these colors, give them a call. Guys, I'm not gonna go on no more. It's been quite a long video of it, all talking, etc., etc. But I just wanna thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Check out the merch store. Follow us on Instagram at Salvage Rebuilt, and we'll see you in the next one.